These things are awesome, but the thing I always worry about them is, would it be better to just yell as loud as you possibly can, or is it better to have a personal alarm go off? That's a, a really valid thing to think about if you're gonna buy one of these. But let's just look at these. So first off, this is a hidden lipstick personal alarm. And what's great about it is it's very unsuspecting. It looks just like a lipstick, and so you could have it in your purse, but if you ever got attacked, all you'd have to do is just pull off the top. And guys, if you have earphones in, turn them off because this is gonna be loud. Here we go. So as you can hear, it's a very loud personal alarm. Um, I think it's so cool because this thing just looks so unsuspecting. But let's go ahead and look at this other one. I've shown this in a video before. This is a personal alarm keychain, and the thing I love so much about it is how loud it is. It's 130 decibels. It's definitely one of our loudest personal alarms. The other great thing about both of these personal alarms is that if you were attacked, you can push the button and they will stay alarming the whole time, whereas some of them you actually have to hold the button so that the alarm goes off. These ones you can actually open it up, toss it to the side, push the button, toss it to the side. The alarm will keep going so that you're continuously grabbing the attention of people around you if you're being attacked, and that is so important. But what we're gonna test today is I wanna see if these are actually loud enough to grab my attention if I am quite a ways away, because that's the attention grabbing that we need to have happen with these. So let's go ahead and take these outside and actually see if we can hear them from a distance. Okay, so we came outside to test both of these personal alarms. Now the problem with our area is it's a very commercial location. So we've got the sound of airplanes, trucks, cars, people, all kinds of noises going along in this area. But the good thing about that is it gives us a legitimate test of whether these things are gonna be loud enough to actually gather the attention of people around you. So I'm gonna hand these to Amanda. I'm gonna have her try out the hidden lipstick one first, then the personal alarm keychain, and we'll just see how loud it is from a distance. So here you go, Amanda. Okay, and while she's going over there, just remember if you ever were attacked, you want to yell as loud as you can and then also get those personal alarms going and just throw them out of the way so that you're gathering attention because if you're attacked and your attacker decides to cover your mouth, you've at least got that personal alarm going so that you can get people's attention around you. But Amanda should be there by now. Yeah, she's there. And at first we're going to try the lips lipstick alarm. So it's pretty loud out here, but let's see if we can hear it. Okay, so that's definitely loud enough for me to hear. And the thing about that too is it's the sound of an alarm. Like if you hear someone yelling, that's obviously gonna call your attention, but the sound of an alarm is a very distinct sound that's definitely gonna gather attention for you. So let's have her to also test the keychain alarm. Okay, so that's definitely loud, and the thing is you could hear, you could see that while she was doing it, she had to kind of move her ear away from it because it is really loud near her ears too. So those keychain alarms are definitely loud enough to gather people's attention, even, even in a very loud environment like this. So thank you, Amanda. I appreciate it.